Here's an obvious statement. AI has exploded. We're seeing it everywhere from our phones, to our homes, to our businesses, to our day-to-day -day work. But a lot of people still struggle with the underlying foundation of what AI actually is. Today, we're gonna to talk about what it is. So here we go. Thank you very much, as always. Really appreciate all the support. Make sure you like and subscribe. It all helps a lot. So I was giving a talk recently and I had somebody stop me at the very end and say, what do you mean by algorithm? And so because I've been in the space so long, it just seems like a no brainer to me, but there are still a lot of people who really don't understand where this comes from. We look at things like machine learning algorithms and they go all the way back to the 1950s as we previously discussed. So let's talk about at a very, very high level what we actually mean by an algorithm, right? So first we'll start with linear regression. Now, this is one of the simplest forms of a machine learning algorithm. If you think of um, it, some kind of scatter plot with a line going through it, doing a trend analysis, that's, that's linear regression. We can see that very, very simply. Uh, things like Excel, Power BI, all of those tools can do that very, very quickly and easily because all it's doing is analyzing the data and figuring out what the median point of that data is and then projecting which way it's going, up, down, flat, whatever, right? The next thing that we would look at is what's known as a decision tree. Decision trees are um, uh, an algorithm that splits data into branches to make decisions. So, right, you've got a branch that forks off in different directions. Yes, no, maybe, right, and all those types of things. That's simple, right? When we look at um, how decision trees are made, it really gives us an opportunity kind of to narrow down uh, what direction our algorithm would go to help us make a prediction based on the information that we have. Next, we have neural networks, and really these are inspired by the human brain, and they're algorithms that are used for tasks like image recognition, natural language processing, speech recognition, all of those things where we are taking a whole bunch of elements of data and, you know, voice inflections, how do I say different words, for instance, uh, and, and then learning from those. It, we see this all the time in things like our smartphones when, you know, uh, whatever your smartphone of choice uh, tells you um, or, or auto corrects what words you're saying. I have two daughters, their names are a little challenging, and it auto corrects them because it knows that I'm talking about them. And then finally, when we look at uh, algorithms, machine learning or algorithms on the whole, right, we are really talking about the core tools that enable the computers to learn from the data and make intelligent decisions. So again, this started back in the 1950s where when computers were size of an auditorium, right? And uh, very, very few people knew how to work with the technology and what the best way was to work with the technology. But here we are now, there's a lot of options, there's a lot of opportunity, and it's just becoming more and more prevalent in everyday society. Anyway, I hope this helped. Please continue, like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. It's awesome. More videos coming soon. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye.